previously on Alone in the Dark. We went to a Hello and welcome back. When that stone together, Leo, you will be our light bringer. Crowley is the one behind this chaos. He made me retrieve the stone. Here's the stone. <coughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Is Lucis, and to bring is Didn't Pharaoh. expect to do that. I was so trying to swallow. Oh. Lucifer. I have some water. I've done fucked up things in the past. I can feel it. Something to do with the stone. Meet me at the museum. Uh, I'll be good soon. I'm looking for something. Mm. Like what? Room 943. Go down one level and through an underground tunnel. Use the forklift. It'll go faster. Everything is digitally controlled around here. So you better hope that I'm still around when you come this way. Fair. There will be no mercy. It's a forklift to go faster. Don't know about you, but I've only ever experienced forklifts as being slow. Time. <laughs> Eighty three. 80 some megabytes just to show the previously on. I hope that this quality is good for you. It looks like good quality. Like the quality that I'm seeing on the computer, it seems to be a little bit better than on the TV. But that might be because my computer uh, brightness is set to lower. I really hoped you would be here waiting for us. Take a look at this. He's glowing. He's writing. Theo, my pupil, and I. 1936. You haven't changed. Barely. But Theo's dead, and it leads me nowhere. Hey, what the hell? Don't okay, so I think you're supposed to get an extinguisher. What's in here? It's a wall. Um. Okay, this place is dark. See, this is a place where you actually need the flashlight for, like, once. And I thought I was about to get, like, some sort of a game over kind of a thing, because... Are you scared of the dark? Edward! No, I saw that. Just fine. You heard that? Da da da. There's no one. Check it out. But my flashlight's like dead. Oh no, it's at ten percent. Okay. Still at ten percent. Da 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 da. No, no, nothing. Whoa, hi! Eyes closed, nothing around. It's him. Hey, wait, wait, with your eyes closed, you can still see things like your hand and your flashlight. Because, uh, okay, okay. Wait, what's this? No? Because, like, technically you can't see, like, through things with your flashlight. Okay, so there's supposed to be something on a shelf. Or something. Somewhere. The flashlight is not helping. Something on the floor? Something on the wall? Something. Oh, okay, 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 that's. Okay. It's uh, musical stuff. Okay, what am I walking in. into? Pointing in this direction. So, is it one of these things on the wall that we're supposed to look at? It's 
it's this. So it's not this stuff on the wall. It's... I can't do anything with this wall. I guess I was supposed to open this after he showed up. But now he can't close it, so... Something on this here bookshelf. I'm still so convinced that this game is just going to glitch on me. Something on this shelf? No. Something over here? No. Something in there? No. Can't exactly pick up anything. Anything at all in here. Nothing that appears when my eyes are closed. And he keeps just pointing over here. Is there something on the wall? Is there something I'm supposed to be able to see? Am I supposed to... Here it's written... Okay! So just take your gun out, because then you can focus. I want you to knock. Knock four times. I don't have something that knocks, and I can't just knock myself. It's not like a mechanic or anything. Oh, no, no, he's back, okay. Him. Him. Sarah, I want you to knock him Damn. down. Sarah, I want you to... Sarah, I want you to knock him down. Thanks, Theo. Sounds like you're gonna have to kick my ass. Uh, but I don't want to hurt you. I, I could... I know it sounds absurd, but hey, you dream of it. Okay, let's do it, Sarah. Not an option. Him means... Right. has to mean him. Before, I, I wanted to tell you that... You don't know, hate me that much? That's it? Okay. Give me that thing here. I'll stay next to you. Give me that thing over there, she says, and knocks him down from behind. What would you do if some ghost told you to knock down the companion that you've been, we like... have no time. I died to join you here, because this war is raging on every plane of existence. The stone you're carrying offered men fortune and eternal life. They called it the Philosopher's Stone, but they hmm. were fooled. When Lucifer was deposed from heaven and forced to live among men as a mortal, he designed an artifact that would carry his soul through time, waiting for the right moment to take his revenge. Lucifer was trapped in his own creation, but I have released him. Now he's searching for the stone, because it can recast his fate as well as ours. Like people, Central Park hides secrets you shall exhume. Some are lethal, but one of them can save us. Now wake up and close your eyes. Edward, did something happen? Uh, you said something about eyes. Close my eyes. Theo told me what? to... What? What the hell are you doing? The flashlight has a great battery, by the way. 10%, it's done all this. It's still on 10%. I'm not holding the thing anymore. Tom. 
Ooh. Flashlight turned out. Ah! This is in the trailer. The screw is in the trailer. Let's screw in the trailer. <laughs> well, what do you say? Want it? <laughs> Hold on, I'll take it eventually. Maybe. <laughs> I've already said it once. <laughs> so, you <laughs> there in the comments. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, I have to be cl Oh, there's a Venus something something. So, you there in the trailer? What? Is, what? Okay, let's see. Let's go in the comments. <laughs> anyway, two months before. Uh, so, yeah, it tells you the date, but it didn't really want to put on a specific date, so it's like two months before all this. Anyway. The old castle was called the Eye of Central Park by the Templars. I guess the lens must be placed up there to point to the key's location, but I don't have the time to be sure. I, it could be anywhere under our feet, waiting for centuries in the darkness of the underground. But something is coming. I feel it. I have to drop something for my left side, don't I? I kind of really want the bandages, I need the ammo, don't need the tape technically. I could drop the knife, but it's like the one thing I'm not going to get back, so... Bye bye you, and also... I'm gonna drop the knife and pick it right back up, so it's right here. Yeah, because you can't just uh, rearrange things. Why can't you just equip this to the flashlight? Like, I guess it doesn't produce nearly as much light, but if you recall, like you have to really get this good. Did I just burn a hole in the wall? I sure did something alright. Okay, Sarah. Here's my part in all this. I have to build the lock to that door. This is what I was meant to do, right? Right. I'm heading to the old castle. Build this lock and maybe we'll see the end of this soon. Trust me. And take care. So this is episode 6. It, by the looks of it, it's supposed to be a shorter one than normal, because, yeah, we're already like a third of the way through, and we just got out of one room. Uh, yeah. Episode 6, the truth sequence 2, and each I keep on doing sequence 2, don't I? I must head to the old castle with my brand new answers. And <laughs> a ton of questions. I must leave Sarah behind. She will be safer here. I open the exit door and step into a strange hallway. You keep leaving her behind and she doesn't tend to be much safer. Oh, by the way, I have like three texts. Oh, no, not by tips. Uh, what is it? Mosquito spray and rust spray. Okay, it's mosquito spray is what it is. I thought it was cleaner. Uh, feels... Opening the door to him... 943, 3 months before. The lens must be enlightened. It's so simple. Any beam of light projected through the lens has the power to open the path of light's door. Light is the fuel. Everything those new everything those Templars built was centered on light as a physical force. They found a way to channel it like a fluid. This is the source of their power and their incredible science. It seems that the door to the room works on the same principle. Light as a fluid. Leo's diary, the poem one year before. I found this poem in the circular room. The hands of Venus will shape the lock to the store, while Mars will fight to bring the key back to the core. It's a surprise. The carrier is not meant to follow the path of light alone, but it sounds coherent with the principles of alchemy. Mars and Venus, a man and a woman, the completion of two, finally making one. The strength of humanity, I just don't know who this Venus will be. Apparently it's Sarah. Maybe. Uh, she's going to shape the lock to the door, and he will bring the key back. So, like, she's going to put in the lock, and he's going to try to open it. Sounds like they're working together for all for opposite uh, sources. Hello, Edward, my old friend, my mentor. Oh, yeah. My mentor. If you read this, it means I've dragged you back from the curse of the stone. Seventy years ago, you took me as your pupil. 
I was a young offender then, but you saved me by giving me faith in historic mysteries. When you found the stone and began your research, you realized my fascination for it and understood the evil that was trapped inside. So one day you disappeared to Europe with the stone. Thanks to the medallion, time had no effect on you for seventy years, but in return it deeply corrupted you. I felt betrayed when you left. Now I'm grateful. Our fate is in your hands, my friend. He wrote that message today. Okay, so because while you have the stone with you, you won't age. That's interesting, and it works for apparently anyone. Like, I remember, if this, we, fine, you know what, screw you, I'll talk about D&D &D if I want to. Oh, use the forklift to go faster. Ahem, ahem, that's why it was uh, put into the previously on, I guess. So that's why they had it. So just so you could see, if I hear that part, but you, fine, fine, I don't need resources. I could use a gun to shoot them. Point blank fire bullet shots don't exactly do the job, it seems. Long distance fire bullet shots kill those nests, however. Okay, okay, I think I see what I have to do now. First, get rid of these poison spitters. Sorry, acid spitters. No, it's poison, not acid. Acid on your eyes is going to be a lot worse. And apparently there are a lot of people who are rather mad about the attitude of people throwing acid in people's faces. And like, you know, burning them for life and all that. I read this one news article where a girl is had like acid thrown in her face by her boyfriend. And... Okay, now you actually use the D-pad for something. Right trigger to move, it's not any button. Well, it's a trigger. Like, hello? Um, can I move you all the way down? Yeah, you have to move it a little bit further down. Then you go in here, and then you lift it right up. No, it's not the stick. I played a lot of games with different... Anyway, it's... oh yeah, the story, this new story. Um, and then eventually, through lots of court proceedings and everything, because court takes forever, it really does, from what I've heard, but he was finally found guilty of it, and instead of being like put into prison or anything, she said that he should suffer the same thing. And apparently she actually wound up getting to throw acid into his face, which I guess that's some sort of vengeance, and since... And since that was the uh, legal like punishment for him, she hopefully didn't get in trouble for doing that. Not any legal trouble anyway. I was like, no, no, just following the actual proper punishment for him to have was to have this. Okay, so the forklift is a useful tool. And back up a little bit more, put it onto here. So I don't think that this will latch perfectly. This thing you have to kind of go... Oh, that's right, you can... And let me just... Well, okay then, you! Um, what is up here, anyway? There are these things, which I can't just push past by myself. Wasn't I saying something earlier before I started talking about the news? Oh, that's right. A magical item to make the wearer not age. Like, that's something that a lot of people, I would think, would like, right? Like, you, as long as you wear it, you don't age. Take it off, you age. So it's not like it's going to keep you immortal forever. It's like, you can still, like, die if you wear it. But you won't die by age as, by old age as long as you wear it. So if you get it when you're, like, say, 16, and you put it on and you never, ever, ever take it off, ever, you will be 16 forever, or at least, like, physically 16. Pretty sure it doesn't affect you mentally. Um, <clears throat> I'm supposed to do something to this. Oh, hi. This looks promising. Oh! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. 
Where did it go? Come on, this one. Equip with the gun. And this one with the gun, with fire bullets. I'll check, I'll check. Hi, what's up? They like dodge out of the way and stuff, which is neat, but really makes it harder to hit you. Goodbye. Right, so now that I have that thing, I can use the forklift again. Right. Uh oh. You can get into the right. Game logic. I don't know why it has a mesh on the right side. Why do forklifts have that mesh on the right side? Are they really so concerned with people getting in through that side? Like, they might be. If, yeah. They play a game based around driving, like Grand Theft Auto. Uses like the right stick for controlling forks on a forklift. No, not Crowley. Sarah. Oh, she found something in the diary six years ago. Being involved in the museum's life has finally paid off. Last night, I found a hidden door deep inside room 943's foundations. Six years before, so seven years ago, we found this hidden door. I knew it! The first investors in this museum were the same investors as for Central Park. But the door remains tightly sealed for the moment. That's strange. It's the first time I haven't thought about Madeline too much. I think of her life to save instead. Edwards. Now they're going to throw some more stuff about this. Apparently Madeline was the woman that he really fancied. And... I'm using the sticks to control it. Oh look, there's a nest right there. So that nest being right there... I might be able to stop it. Yeah, I can burn you. Let's see if... If more come out, then that means there's at least one other nest. If none come out, no other nest, really. Necessarily. So I think you're supposed to just use the ladder and put the ladder in the place. But I feel like I don't need one because I have all these boxes around here to use. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Do -do 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 Come on. They have these weird things on the corners that makes it so no matter what way they fall, they can still work. So, if anyone ever wonders why you actually need training to drive a forklift, apparently it's not as easy as they make it out to be. I wonder what that phrase, make it make it out to be, is supposed to mean, like, is it supposed to talk about making out being easy, or something, like, I don't, I don't know why people say things. Yeah, see, I can totally climb up here. And up here. And screw the ladder! So this is supposed to do something, that brings this whole thing up. However, there's at least one more nest down there. On this side. I could try clearing out right here. Seriously, I happened to be out of ammo. I happened to be out of ammo. Right then, right there, and come on, come on, right. Ah! Ta da! I did it! Oh, glory to me, the Hypno Toad! Anyway, get rid of these spitters one at a time because. Well, I only have a weapon that can kill them one at a time. Use the forklift to go faster. Yeah, I see you, forklift. 
No. Apparently the way I did it was actually correct. You are not actually supposed to uh, just put the ladder back in place. Like, the more games you play, the more screwed up you are for it, like other games, I feel. Because, like, if you play a game, and it's like, oh, you are actually supposed to put the ladder back in place. Play that one first, and you see this, it's like, oh, but putting the ladder back in place isn't working this time. Okay, so you're supposed to do this. But, then again, it can also really help out, because you see things like, oh, I have this here forklift, I'm supposed to be constantly using it. Oh, I'm supposed to ditch the forklift now. If I need a forklift again for anything, I can keep it. But eventually, they put in a situation where you must ditch it. Like right here, because you like they could have put it in in such a way that you didn't have to ditch it, where you could take it with you. I don't know, put a box in place in instead. Have it be stuck by putting it too uh, so far up. So you could have driven it over here with you, and then this, and it's like, oh, I have to lose it anyway. So no sense in trying to bring it with me. But of course, people will still try to bring it with them, because that's just what people do. They try. People really like to try things. Oh no, I'm trapped in here. Just speak one little phrase and I can pull you out of there. No, cut the dramatic bullshit, Crowley. What do you want? The stone card beam. Just tell me you'll give it to me. Or must I be content with watching you dissolve into that black film? You have ten seconds. Fuck off. Here, let me give you something to think about. Oh, so this whole thing. Because you have to actually stay somewhat in the uh, spotlight. <laughs> ah! Whoa. Turns off the spotlight for a second, so if you're too close to the edge, you scoot over. So basically, if you give him the stone, he wins. If you don't give him the stone, you get dissolved, and they may or may not dissolve the stone as well. If they do dissolve the stone, he probably doesn't win. <laughs> are we having a nice walk in the park? And so obedient, my dog could take lessons from you. Son of a bitch, I'll... Fine, you win. Lower the fucking rope already. You are very strong for, like, a hundred years old. I'm tired of chasing you, Carnby. You should have been dead long ago. Sorry, punctuality is one of my strengths. Give it to me. Please. Not so fast. I want some answers first. Don't play games with me, boy. If the stone is cursed, why do you want it? What about the path of life? The stone deserves better than that ridiculous prophecy. Happy endings are for fools. To hell with mankind. I was born to carry that stone. The rest is no concern of yours. That seems like a concern to both of us. It looks like a giant vampire, by the way. Okay, now I want to play as one of them. I'm uh, playing D&D, one of my favorite creatures to throw at enemies is the Sturge. It's more of a fourth edition thing, but like, whatever. Like, the Sturge is up on Throw a bunch of those at the team, and unless they're prepared... Wah, wah. This... This is the end of a chapter? I guess walking around a little counted it. This is the shortest one yet. It's not even half an hour long yet. Oh my goodness. This is so very, very short. I don't really know what to say except on to chapter 7.